Oh, gate guard signs with Bellator. This is huge, huge for MMA, huge for Bellator, huge for the UFC, um, huge for the UFC in a negative way. Gegard is one of the top middleweights in the division, and he's gone. You know, with Jock Ray on a losing streak, with Yoel on a losing streak, with Luke Rockhold nowhere to be found, Wyman on a losing streak, him and Gaslam, the only two guys really kicking butt in the, as far as big names, kicking butt in the middleweight division. So for him to leave is a huge deal. I don't think the UFC is going to do. They'll probably be fine. They got lots of talent. Uh, they, I guess they didn't offer Gegard what he wanted. You know, he's been a free agent for a while. He's been asking for more money. He's one of the top guys in the world, so this is big. I don't know how payments work. I don't know how numbers work. I'm not, I don't work for the UFC, so I don't know what you would pay a guy like Gegard as towards pay-per-view buys and what his worth is. I don't know any of that stuff, so for him to leave, you know, I'm going to play devil's advocate and just be supportive of him because I'm a fan of his fights, so. He's going to Bellator. Bellator's snagging up all these UFC guys. I don't know what they're doing over there. They got some money. They're doing something. Scott Coker, everyone likes him apparently. So this is huge. We'll see what happens. Rory's in Bellator. Can't wait for that. If that fight happens. That would be amazing to see. But yeah, I don't know. Good for Gegard. Hopefully he's getting some good shekels over there in Bellator.